Hey everyone, Hustin here. Just want to do this little vlog. I am chilling today. I'm at the Air and Space hey. Museum. Hey, Udit's here. Uh, so we're checking out some stuff. Look right there. That is the SR-71 Blackbird. For those that don't know, Transformers fans, that was used in Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. That was Jetfire. The exact one. They literally filmed right there. And I saw the movie here too, which is really sweet. So if you've ever seen Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, that's right where they were, right there. So pretty sweet. I'm going to film some other stuff and uh, check it out. Oh, almost fell. <laughs> Look at all the planes. So cool. Jetfire, where's your Decepticon logo? Where is it? I don't see it. Look at the space shuttle. You know it would be cool. Pretty sweet. You know it would be cool. What? Oh. <laughs> what? Say it. Nah. <laughs> space shuttle. Ah! <laughs> Look at this thing. Space shuttle. This is the Discovery. Pretty sweet. Look at that. All the detail on this thing. Every tile has its own little number or something, so I guess if something goes wrong, they can, they can track it. That's pretty cool. And here's the back of the shuttle right here. Pretty sweet. But look guys, it's Wally! That's so <laughs> disappointing. See, I thought JPL stood for, like, Justice Protector League or something, but I was way off. What is it actually? Jet, jet, jet Propulsion... Yeah, Jet Propulsion... Yeah. <laughs> jet Propulsion Laboratory. There you go. And Wally's next door. Now whatever. <laughs> you guys are getting a sneak peek at the future of aircrafts right there. We got dragons up in here, alright? Dragons. See that? Dragon Rock Festival is held annually in the coastal regions of Japan. During Ryusei, rockets are launched to thank the gods for a good har harvest. Hmm. A similar festival, Bon Bang Phi, is held in Thailand. And this is the Naga Snake or Dragon, the god of fertility. Interesting. <laughs> you would think it would have bigger wheels because it goes so fast. <laughs> right? Yeah, this thing. That's interesting. It's an interesting design for this thing. Yeah. Skunk works. They have a little display at the uh, Avar Havy Center here. Making Jetfire. Just like different models of him. It's pretty sweet. Battery operated. Huh. Yeah, oh yeah. I guess I forgot the toy. It does make like sounds and lights and stuff. So I guess these are the prototypes. And here's the final version, which I have. Although this thing is such a pain to transform. It's like the most complicated toy in existence. I'm serious. But it looks pretty sweet as a jet. Pretty sweet. Got Starscream. I don't know who that is. And I don't know who that one is either. Oh, apparently they're all Starscream. See, I'm not an original Transformers fan, so I don't know. But that's interesting. I guess because he's a jet they showed him here too. Pretty sweet. We got this Wait, stuff so too. Wait, so these are all real props? Uh, I think this is the toy, here? yeah. I, mean, I think these are real props though, like the Sector 7 badge and stuff which is pretty sweet what does it say on it protecting something 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 hmm? like where does it right oh and that, that little yeah. thing can you I find out see that protect something was well, established in a certain year at the bottom protecting america that's what it What's says sector seven again um that part of the government i think that had all the information about transformers or something right 
all like, like the classified, thing. yeah. They're the ones that had all the information about the transformers in hiding, like Jetfire and stuff. So they have a little Sector 7 stuff there, and they talk about Wheelie, because Wheelie was in this scene too here. That's interesting. Oh, the other side has some other stuff too. Help me out, guys. Is this from the movie? I don't remember anybody wearing this type of suit from the movie, but it's in the Transformers display, so maybe. There's a Decepticon logo. Maybe this is what they put on Jetfire because they added a logo to him. It talks about Revenge of the Fallen right there, how they film part of it. More Sector 7 stuff. All Sparks, Sliver. There it is. There's part of the All Spark. This is pretty cool. Allspark describes what it is and everything from the movie. And there's his badge, Agent Sim Simmons' badge. Pretty sweet. And then this display, oh, this is awesome. This shows you, ooh, they have a Jetfire poster there. That's pretty cool. This shows you some Transformers thing here with uh, Optimus Prime. That's really cool. More concept art for Jetfire. And then the combined form. I have this too. If you have the Optimus Prime and the Jetfire from the Revenge of the Fallen line, they combine to make this guy. Which looks, it's again, so complicated to make, but it looks really cool together. And here's Jetfire as the actual jet. I have the toy. Oh, they got it from there? Cool. Let's check it out. They got some clips of the movie playing and stuff. Lots of designs of Transformers. Oh, I didn't know Jetfire was like an old school Transformer. I guess this is all his old designs. That's pretty sweet. So I guess they kept him as a jet, which makes sense, named Jetfire. That's really cool. I like that. They really did that. So there's a little video playing talking about how they converted SR-71 into uh, the Transformer. I hope I don't get flagged for video content on YouTube, but uh, they're showing, this is from the museum, how they added him in there, so you can see. <laughs> and they added Uday digitally into the movie too. That's really cool how they did that. Please, yeah. YouTube, don't flag me. But, uh, kind of yeah, talks about cool stuff. Korean War. Vietnam, yep. Cool stuff, cool stuff. If you ever get a chance, if you're ever in the Northern Virginia area, Udvar Havy Center, Air and Space Museum. Got lots of cool stuff to check out. Pretty sweet. This is pretty neat. Oh, isn't that like, that looks like, was it Oswald or something from Disney? Or not Oswald, but is it Oswald? The old school Disney character. That was Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. It's not. It doesn't look like a rabbit. Or is it? I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. But he looks like an old school Disney character. That's interesting. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I dropped a second atomic bomb on Nagasaki. No, not that one. No, the other one did. Yeah, this one did it on Hiroshima. Watch out guys, the police are coming after you. Look at this this high tech crazy stuff they got. Oh, oh, oh snap, look at that. <laughs> Could you imagine the cops like flying after you and something like that? That's pretty funny. Whoa. 
look at the back of the Enola Gay. Another hmm. person can fit in there and like shoot like a turret. Interesting. Yeah. All right, hey everyone, so that was it. That was the Uvarhazi Center, doing a little vlog, just kind of showing you all the different stuff here. There's Jetfire, the SR-71 Blackbird again. Um, so yeah, just kind of hanging out, checking things out. So they're about to close, so better leave in like a minute. So see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and peace out.